Hello. Earlier in the week, I was on a national telephone link up to talk about the Anglican Communion's response to the forthcoming COP26 International Conference on Climate Change in Glasgow. This takes place from the 31st of October through to the 12th of November. I expect we'll be hearing a lot about it. But it was heartening to hear the experiences of Anglicans throughout the world. Very distressing to hear some who speak about the impacts of climate change on them. And like us in Australia, we know some of the uh, extreme events of weather that have been affecting people. Particularly the tragedy of people in the low-lying places in the Pacific Islands and other places where uh, the whole livelihoods, the, the whole continued existence of their communities is entirely threatened by sea level rise. But it was encouraging to hear the determination of people from a diversity of places, not just places of privilege and first world countries, but um, many different experiences, to make a difference to such an important thing. One of the bishops I spoke to, who is from Myanmar, spoke about an aspiration that they have to plant a tree every year for every person. Even though the Anglicans are only a small community there, they've got a big aspiration for uh, that to become influential in the whole community. Because people, bit by bit, want to make a difference. And I'm looking forward to being encouraged by hearing the Prime Minister, whilst he's travelling overseas, uh, reveal some more of the determination from Australia to reduce carbon emissions. I think that'll happen, and I think that the matters around uh, the relationships with France, the negotiation with uh, a free trade agreement with the European Union, will put pressure on Australia to come out with a clear declaration about some commitments before the COP26 conference. I hope that'll be the case. Because in many ways, we have embraced at a community level a high degree of acceptance of renewable energy. The presence of rooftop solar in various forms generating electricity in more northern climates providing hot water is so widespread. And now with the Australian locally produced automobile industry not being continued, we've got uh, an incredible opportunity of requiring that our imported vehicles are hybrid vehicles, uh, electric vehicles. So we have some real opportunities with the right policy settings to make a, a very significant contribution, which I think picks up the sentiment of ordinary people to want to make a difference so that the world can be sustainable, so that we can pass on a world that is livable, fair and just to future generations. Because the impact of climate change will probably be experienced unequally throughout the world. Those who have advantage will often be in situations where they can, at least for a time, preserve that advantage, but the most disadvantaged will suffer greatly. So there's a justice issue as well as a sustainability and a stewardship of creation issue. So please pray for those who will gather for this meeting in COP26. Pray for their commitment to do the hard work, the hard negotiation, to come up with agreements that people will feel really bound to, especially in, in those societies which have been standing a, a bit off this. We know there are some large nations which have um, uh, been standing somewhat apart from uh, this process. And pray that in our own local context that we can seek to be people who make a difference. I'm glad to see that there are a number of churches in the Diocese of Melbourne that have been able to participate in renewable energy schemes. And we're looking to see if we can make that more widely available. Because we live in a place throughout most of Australia where we have ample opportunities of coming to better and more completely rely on renewable energy sources. So as you make that journey, as others make that journey to speak on our behalf, 
Let's hold our prayers for a, a sustainable society, that we might be good stewards of God's creation and for justice to be shared amongst all God's people. May the Lord Jesus bless you, keep you, watch over you and protect you this day and for evermore. Amen.